This is a DD13 engine and this DD13 engine suffer a common problem then is um, crankshaft failure. Crankshaft stuck, it's not moving, engine is completely destroyed. In this case this engine is going out and we are going to sell a used one. DD15, uh, DD15 and DD13 engines are different because the DD13s are smaller than the DD15s but they share similar problems and they have pretty similar technologies. It is pretty much the same engine just in a smaller version, a shorter version. In this case we have a M2 um, truck and these M2s are very hard to work on. M2s are very small, very compact. It's the same way as, uh, I mean the same thing when it comes to uh, short nose cascadias. They, they, they have a lot of work to do remote engine or to do anything like to do an engine, engine overhaul. They have no room. Half of the engine is pretty much in and the other half is out. And there is no way to get access from the back. If uh, you haven't seen one of these trucks, I mean, uh, well, this is the way it is. But I know many of you then are mechanics or, you know, people then know about, you know, working on these trucks, know how hard it is to do a simply a simple oil change on one of these trucks because they have no room. But anyway, uh, in this case, this engine is going out. This engine is almost done to get it off. But uh, there is so many things on the back and some uh, the room is not that great. And that is what is stopping the process. And, and as I say, engine is going to be replaced completely. Um, engine completely, the, we are not going to repair it in this case. We are going to do uh, just an engine swap. In this case, this is the old pan of this engine. The thing is like this truck was sold to someone else and uh, when they sold the truck they they just said that the engine wasn't uh, wasn't running or nothing but the person then sold this truck knew that the engine was destroyed so they bought this truck in an auction or something like that just saying that the engine was you know didn't turn on but they never say that the engine was completely destroyed, you know? So that's the way it is, you know? So that's why you have to be careful when you buy trucks when you don't, when you don't see the trucks or you don't turn on the trucks when you buy them. In this case, this is a big problem because the person spent so much money buying this truck and now the truck is completely destroyed. In this case, we can see clearly the reason why it got destroyed because of the seals. You see the seals over here? They are completely broken. And the reason why DD15 engines and DD13 engines and DD16 engines, because they are pretty much the same, they happen to have low oil pressure problems is because of these seals. These seals get completely toasted and they start leaking pressure. Now, I talk about it in my other videos, but in this case uh, we have the clear example because these ones are hard, they're, they're not even soft. When they're hard, I mean then uh, they, they, they are not actually retaining the pressure. In this case, the big tube is the suction side of the of the pump, and the smaller tube is the pressure side. So the suction side is the one that suffers the most because the pump it is not actually pumping enough pressure to the system. Instead, is pulling air because most of the time when the vehicle is running, air comes over here because of the oil moves around you know never stays in one position so always air gets sucked in and happens uh, the problem then the pump runs on dry and the pressure never happens here and you know everything goes like that main problem that happens to the 15 engines is that and the 13 engines in this case it's a 13 the solution is to replace those on time probably a 500 600 700,000 miles if you have never done it. That is the time where you have to do it. I don't know how many miles does this truck has, to be honest, but I, I'm, I know for sure that uh, it has over 500,000 miles or it has many hours working because those tubes like that don't get dry just like that. I mean, the seals don't get dry just like that. It, you need a lot of temperature and a lot of time with, you know, uh, oil recirculating the system to make this happen. But um, 
Uh, it's just a prevention. It doesn't matter what type of engine you have. I mean, uh, D13, D15, uh, and D16, uh, that is something very common, so you have to do it. It's totally different about the problem that I mentioned to the other engines, that engine, that other engine that I have. This is a D15 engine right here. That one. That D15 engine then broke. So that the everything engine, what happened to that one is the uh, in the old suction manifold broke, so all pressure never happened. But uh, it is a totally different problem. And in this case, this one is just because we have a dry seal, and the seal is not actually letting the pressure build up. So different problems, but the uh, problem goes right to the main source of force, then is the crankshaft and the crankshaft is completely destroyed, there is nothing to do. Uh, but uh, it is just a talk, uh, very important for all of you guys, if you want to have your engine running, DD15, DD13s and everything with no problems at all, it's very important that you replace the old suction manifold, then is the black piece right here, this is the old suction manifold, and the seals, these two seals, this one, this one, and this one, this one, in this case, this tube is still here. So, you replace all that, replace the seal, and all that, and pretty much the oil pressure is not going to drop unless you, you know, something bad happens. You know, everything is exposed to any type of felt at any point. But if you did that, you actually did what you could. So uh, that will be the best way to prevent problems. And doing all that will actually help you to maintain your engine over the roads. But just a little talk about this distorting engine. Probably I will continue doing videos because I haven't have that many DD13 engines videos but I want to try to do a little more so if I can I want to push a little more videos so that way you can get more ideas on what is uh, DD13 engine repairs look like so uh, any questions go to the description of the I'm sorry the comment section any questions anything to add uh, recommendations or whatever else you have to add to make this video more informative, uh, you have any type of support or something to send to me, you can use the description of the video. I have the details how to send the support to me. Also, you can go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, where you can find me and ask me if you want something, you want to ask me or see whatever I'm doing there. And it's very important that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the content that I'm you know, posting every weekend. Every weekend I'm uploading new videos. And uh, like the video, very important, share it with anybody that wants to know information about these trucks. And thank you for watching.